back in our little sampler pod, and then we got sh- we got our favorite episode. I mean, favorite series, right? Is there the a last series? Yeah, right, right now, Amanda, well, maybe Mando's I don't know Mando's. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. But so far, favorite series, okay? The Last of Us. <laughs> All right, we are on episode eight. Please, if we messed up on the count, look, man, I, I looked online and I said it was episode eight, okay? Some some places are saying that it was episode seven. I believe it was eight. All right, we're going base of eight. What episode was it? I said it was eight. Online. It doesn't matter what the episode was. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Perfect. All right, man, because this is a very long episode. Let's go ahead and start it off with, man, we get introduced to this cult leader. Which it was the perfect wording for that you uh, you set up for it, uh, because I put it. He was a dictator. No, he's more like a cult leader, honestly. Yeah, this the other dude, lady was a dictator. This guy is just creepy. Yes, this dude in the game. Fuck this guy, bro. Like yo, like this whole episode was like almost to the T of the game. Obviously, they switch a couple things, um, and I don't remember some parts that I'm gonna talk about later. But yeah, man, they introduced this guy. You already get the bad vibes off of him, um, <clears throat> especially whenever uh, he's just preaching from the from the Bible, and then he's you just hear in the background there's a girl sobbing. Yes. And and what happens is apparently you find out that apparently her dad was dead. Okay, mm-hmm. so. Mm-hmm. She was just By the, way, the guy gave me good vibes ever since I saw him. The guy just looks so yeah. creepy, yeah, ridiculously bro. creepy. Yeah. Um. So a lot of people turn out like believed in him. He, the, he, he just literally became their leader. They chose him, pretty much. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a fighter. He wasn't uh, a lover. He wasn't none of that stuff. He was just more of a. He knew how to persuade people. That's what it was. He knew how to Mm -hmm. put sentences together that made everybody look good and be like, oh, that's our leader. Okay, so... He's very manipulative. Very manipulative. Yep. He also believes that everything is is faith. Everything that happens is because of faith. So that that comes into a part later on in the episode. Um, But anyways, we move on to uh, Ellie was hunting, and she was hunting a a deer because Mm -hmm. she needed to get... Some meat for paws for Joe, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and then no, but that was good. That was good. Yeah, bro. Plus, I, I like that they're showing her. I like that they're showing her like learning new skills. So even though it's not the game, but I could kind of almost imagine. I could see the little XP going up or whatever it is, because we know that she learned a new skill. It's like yeah, yeah. skill acquired hunting. <laughs> In, in the game, she uh, this is whenever you start playing as her. So okay. you start gotcha. playing as her, especially for this whole episode, you're playing as her, uh, gotcha. which is pretty crazy. Um, so uh, while she's like, she shoots the deer, unfortunately, it's not a one-shot kill. So the no. deer is wounded, is just uh, running away, blah, blah, blah. And she bumps into... <coughs> The cult leader, which is, which his name is David, and I do not remember the other guy's name. Do you remember? No, me neither. No. You look just creepy. Creepy guy, too. And and, uh, fun fact, I'm just going to let you know right now. uh, That guy, the guy, his, the dude that was with him, he's the actual voice actor of Joel in Mm -hmm. the game. Oh, really? That's cool. They brought somebody in. Yeah, yeah. So that was pretty dope, right? You know what I mean? So yeah. yeah, he he literally he was in Joel, but hey, he had a big part, I guess, with that whole episode. So yeah, he's gave him a little, little cameo there, so that's good. That'll work. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What do you think about it, man? Whenever uh, they like ha- are having a conversation, because Ellie's just like kind of like holding, not holding them hostage, but it's like, hey, like. This is my dear. Don't fuck with me. And you know what I mean. She's showing like, hey, don't like the don't fuck with me presence. No, you know what I mean. I mean, she was she was fantastic. She, uh, it seems like she did learn what Joel taught her. Plus, we we do learn that she's pretty tough, anyways, from that school she was at. That was kind of like a military type deal. 
Oh, and they're, uh, when they showed the last episode, when they were showing what happened to her before and all that stuff. Yeah. What? Bro, I swear to God, I put hot water in this. Oh, you scared me. I was like, I was like, wait a no, minute. No, Am I saying I, something that's wrong? Or no, no, you're good. You're good. I was just, <laughs> I was just expecting a very hot sip of my tea, and then it turns out that it's cold as fuck water. Like, Bruh. like, yo, like, I don't think this even. I don't think I even pour hot water in there. Yeah, you're getting iced tea without any ice, so it's lukewarm. I guess I don't know what that. But anyways, uh, going back to going back to Ellie. So we do know that she does learn. She does know some skills, not just from Joel, but from the school where she was at before. So she does have some kind of formal training also, uh, and it's showing <coughs> that she can take care of herself, which is where I think they're trying to go little by little. Which uh, I did see that you know, in, um, two episodes ago where Joel we thought he was gone, but he was not. But we all know where it's heading at some point. But at least we can see that she's gaining enough skills to be able to get to that point. Where if he goes away, hey, she'll be all right. Yes. I'm agreeing with you. It's just <laughs> your, this type of tea cold is, is not. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to throw it away because I don't have that many of the tea bags left. Uh, get it. Okay. All right, all right, cool. So, so, but anyways, uh, but one um, of the biggest thing that happens in this scene, right, where this is all happening, is that she technically need a medicine for Joel. Yes. So that yes, whenever, whenever, penicillin, something yeah, whenever David mentioned, like, hey, we, I can help you because she, he's trying to persuade her to go with him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he's like, I can help you, blah, blah, blah. I can give you medicine, all this and all that. And then she's like, you know what I mean? It clicked in her head like, hey, I need medicine. So so then his goon ended up going back to the town to get medicine. And then this is whenever we find out all this other stuff about that. Apparently, three people went missing. And that supposedly uh, Joel and Ellie killed them. Some way, somehow, which is this part of the story, I don't 100%. I mean, not not of the story, but like I don't remember on the episode that they mention how they know about them. Because they, they, they mention like, oh, it was a guy and then he was running, walking around. With, yeah, a with guy a with a girl. Yeah. Yeah. So either he was doing it as a kind of like playing mind games, you know what I mean? Or he knew. Which could be the case. I mean, the guy, <laughs> that's what he does. He manipulates people. That's, that's True. What, what he's doing. True. So, so like whenever he said that, I was like thinking, I'm like, when when did they kill three people? I'm like, was that in the yeah. last episode? But then no, in the last episode, he only one guy died. Yeah, I was thinking maybe in the one from uh, Colorado when they go to the when he gets stabbed. Yeah, it's but the only one guy thing died. Where they have three guys. Yeah, that may be that may have been her dad. I know, but he was saying that three that he killed three dudes. No, I thought it was that he killed one dude. No, no, no. He killed people. three. Because three, oh, I don't know. three people went missing, specifically. Well, maybe they went missing, but only one died. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I was trying to figure that one out. And my, my wife was even pointing shit. out, is like, it may be that guy, but no. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Guys, I what can't drink it? this tea. This tea tastes fucking terrible. Cold. I'm sorry. Anyways. All right. <laughs> yeah, but anyways. anyways um, so... Yeah, go ahead. Nah, bro. Go ahead. All right, man, whatever. Ellie gets the oh, medicine. Oh, okay. no, cool. I didn't know. You are kind of freezing there for a second. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ellie gets the medicine, goes back to Joel, and then she ends up going, oh, uh, what was that game that we used to play back in the days? Uh, the With the doctor, the doctor game that was with, like, the little... Oh, Operation? TV. Yeah, like all, all operation with, yeah. the, uh, with operation. the long ass needle to uh, inject yeah. Joel, and I'm just like, yo, like and of all places, why did you could have used a leg, the bud, an arm? No, let's go right uh, straight for where he's he hurting. She said he's Bam. sleeping. She said he's sleeping. He'll be fine. I'm like, bro, that looks painful as fuck, yo. Know? Like, <laughs> and he's like. Ugh. You can just hear him. The, the guy's like he's yeah, basically yeah, dying bro. there. He's like, oh god, oh god. Just a toy like come on, eh, man. That had to hurt a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that, that that was that was kind of interesting. But 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 going back to that point where you were talking about Ellie getting the medicine, I think it was 
really cool that her sense of survival that she wasn't thinking about the food at that moment. She's thinking about, wait, medicine. Do you have medicine? Yeah, you do. Okay, let's go. She was already thinking ahead and what she really needed. And I do like that now they're really showing that they're that they do care for each other, which we will see a little bit later. But they like he, they genuinely have a good connection. Yes. Like they've learned to to live and and, and love each other, kind of <coughs> like a dad and a daughter to a certain extent. Yeah. So he, she did turn into his daughter eventually. Which like we're seeing this throughout the episodes, like the uh, the connection just becoming stronger and stronger. But then actually, like whenever we get to the final part of this episode is whenever we truly see that you know what i mean we yeah we see that whole connection um mm -hmm. once she does that she gives the medicine to joel and things like that um david and the goon goes back to the village and then some way somehow they find out that hey joel and this little girl is out there and then everybody wants their heads let's put it like that so then David is like, all right, y'all want their head? Okay, then go go and get him. You know what I mean? Go and go and find him. Uh, but I want her alive. But I want I want Ellie alive. So that was one of the key things. Um, the craziest part about all of this, right? Whenever they get back into into town, is that they're all about to have dinner, and the and the one girl that was sobbing from the beginning of the episode. She comes out and asks David, like, when are we going to get revenge? Or when are we going to kill uh, the guy that killed my dad or whatever? Mm -hmm. And then he just smacks the shit out of her. Yeah. It looked bad. It, it looked like a, like a <laughs> legit smack. He's like, like, bam, like, damn. Bro. Yo. Like. You went on Gunther on her. <laughs> yo, facts. <laughs> like, bye. He's and then he said and, and um, I don't remember word he for word. Slaps like for a Puerto Rican said. mom. Yo, Fox. <laughs> I'm not even gonna disagree on that. So, uh, <laughs> but the weirdest thing is like he they they all get together after that happens and then they just serve everybody food and then everybody just goes to town on the food and you just see everybody just eating super fast, super fast, super fast, except certain people are eating slower, right? You know what I mean? And then you're just like, what the fuck? Maybe it's because they eat more compared to the other ones? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it now. You know what I mean? But but when, yeah. When they go with the to the kitchen, it's venison. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. So then because technically <laughs> so I'm thinking it was the deer. Like they took half of the deer with them or they took the whole deer with them. You know they were already I mean? eating by the time they had them. <laughs> oh that is true. They were already eating, so it's like, eh, what are you guys eating? You yeah. ran out of deer. You said you ran out of deer, or you were really low on deer. Yeah. And the guy so, comes in, he's like, what is that? The, the lady's like, what is that? No, venison. She's like, oh, oh, okay. Okay. All right. Sure. And she looks at it. When she when she uh, holds it, she's like, yeah. disgusted by it. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, I don't know, bro. But uh, anyways, this, it was some weird meat so uh, <laughs> that they ate. Um, mm -hmm. so once they go out and start looking for Joe and Ellie, um, Ellie realizes this. So then she runs back to Joe and then she's trying to wake up Joe and Joe is just like gone. This man is like more, more asleep than awake. So then she's, she gives him a knife and that's the only weapon that she gives him. And he's like, and she's like, Hey, anybody that gets inside, you fucking kill them. That's word exactly. for word. Excuse mm -hmm. my language, but it's crazy. So then after that, she goes ahead and then uh, she goes upstairs because they're in the basement. She goes upstairs and then she covers the door with some furniture or whatever. And then Ellie goes goes out in with, with the horse and then goes with the gun and then tries to get their attention. So then like that, she she gets everybody's attention and, 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 uh, and gets them away from Joel. Technically, from uh, from getting close to them. Unfortunately, while that's happening and she's running away, the, the they shoot the horse. Yeah, that looked pretty pretty gnarly. <laughs> yeah, and it's like because you see the guy hiding in the uh, uh, behind the bush or in that little wall or something, and all of a sudden you just see like. <laughs> yo, and the crazy thing is, like the like it looks she real. Gets like, the like yo yo she did. <laughs> 
It looked real as hell, bro. Like whenever she's like like a horsey, was, bro. And bro, like I, like I was watching the after show, and um, it's a, obviously it's a fake it's a fake horse, but like bro, it's like literally like a like I don't even know how to describe it. It looks more like a table that she's just riding on, and then they just CGI the whole thing, bro. I'm like, damn, bro, that's impressive. Like the way that the technology can do, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I mean, and on a TV show, it's not even in the movies. It's not a TV show. Granted, it's probably a bigger budget TV show, but yeah, it's still yeah, a TV show nonetheless. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, no, that, that that was cool. That was really cool. I I, I really I really liked how they um, how they put that Ellie not not so much about the, if she was successful or not, but that she had the the big girl pants to kind of go against everybody. She's like, you know what? Let's go. Let's do this. Like she was yes. just. And she knew what to do. She's uh, uh, let's let's go. Let, let's go get these guys. Let me try my best. Yep. She knew she had nothing else. I mean, the, what else was she gonna do? So Just she did a the, really the damn good job there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> the goon. I mean, once she gets yeeted off the horse, right? The goon could have literally killed her because uh, the uh, the the big goon was surrounded by the other goons. <laughs> I don't know their yeah. names, bro. Goon one, two, and three. Yeah. So then they were all like, "Oh, like, hey, kill her. She's the one that killed our friends." Blah blah blah. And then uh, Davis stopped it. He's like, "No, I said I wanted her alive." So then he he takes her back to the village, and then he's like, "If you want so much, if you want so much revenge, then go out and get her, and then you take care of it." And then and they go. Yeah, and they go. And then we fast forward, blah, 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 blah. We get to Joel. I mean, Ellie's in jail. Joel's back at the house. Joel's asleep. But then out of nowhere, he wakes up because he hears a creaking upstairs. And then mm -hmm. he already notices that, hey, it's not. It's not Ellie. Like something's off. Yeah, something something's is off. Something's it's not, wrong. It's not Ellie. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, the goon makes it down to the basement after he starts making all this loud ass noise by moving the furniture. Yeah, and talk then, about <laughs> talk about it's like, uh, bro, really? Like, uh, yeah, well, yeah, bro. Like the element of surprise is gone. He failed the splinter cell. Yeah, uh, big facts, bro. I mean, it's yeah. a wooden house. Like, what can you expect? Yeah, but he's like, <laughs> like bro. yeah, bro. And uh, he ends up stabbing him in the neck. Yeah, which was pretty badass. And I did like when yeah. they put the the bed because I was like, oh, shoot, he's gonna get him. Then he's not in the bed. I was like, all right, cool, there you go. He's yeah. going all Liam Neeson on him. Yo, we'll find he did, bro. And I will kill you. He did. <laughs> he's the new Liam Neeson, bro. <laughs> he is. <laughs> but he doesn't talk like a Scottish man, man. He, yeah. um, no, he doesn't talk like that. No, he has a doesn't even have a Latino voice. accent. Nothing, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. His voice would be throwing me off because sometimes I'll be expecting like a Spanish accent and it's like, nope. Yes. Yeah. You, you expect like Diego Luna or something like that? And it's yeah. like, it's just Mando. That's literally all I hear, bro. Like, yeah, legit. exactly. Like, like all I, you hear I, is Man Mando. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. True. <laughs> that is true. It's like. <laughs> You know, it's almost like you feel like Grief Karga in uh, Mandalorian. He tells Baby Yoda, do something, right? Do something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, literally, that's all you hear. Like, come on, man. Yeah. He's not a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Shout no, out to episode cool. one. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, we go back to after she, after Joel <laughs> kills the, the dude, we go back to Ellie in jail, and she's finding yeah. out more stuff about this dude. And and things that he, what he wants to do, what his he gets creepier he, by the minute. Yes, he pretty much becomes a. Uh, let's be real, because uh, Ellie is what fifteen. She's supposed to be portrayed as fifteen, or fourteen, or something like that. And then he's literally trying to he he wants her as like pretty much his yeah. wife. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's sick. It's like it's sick. Like you you yeah. like my, my stomach was turning. Every, yeah. I was like, this guy got more disgusting by the and second. Bro, and, and us having kids is just like... I'm like, yo, he's got to go now. Yes. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and that's crazy, man. Because, like, it, it just makes you think, you know what I mean? Like, especially, like, it puts you in, like, yo, 
what if somebody was trying to do that? You know what I mean? How would you react? But Joel. Uh, Fact. Your answer is Joel. Yeah. <laughs> to answer. So like what he his actions were just like, you know what? I would have done the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. So yeah. uh <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's funny, bro. Um so we go ahead and go back to Joel in the in, in the episode. And then Joel is literally going like G.I. Joe and everybody. He's going Liam Neeson again yeah. and taken. He kills. <laughs> he kills some dude, and then you. <coughs> no, he knocks somebody out, and then he somebody else walks in. Is walking. I thought to he the killed backyard. one guy. No, no, no. He didn't kill guy. him. He didn't kill him. He uh he knocked. Oh, so him he was out. still he was still he, he was the guy on the wall, right? Or he was the guy sitting down. He was the guy. Sitting they all kind of look the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the dude Got that it. was laying down in the backyard of the house that was like knocked out. Was the dude that was actually sitting down, right inside the house that was about to get interrogated, right? And then the 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 other dude, the one that walked in, that noticed like, oh shit, there's a guy on the floor. One of my guys, he's the one that's on the wall, tied down. <laughs> you know what I mean? So then, Joel, yo, this goes straight from the game, dude. Like this uh-huh. is straight from the game. This interrogation that happens is straight from the game. And then he makes him, in the game, he also puts the knife in his mouth and it makes him point to where we're supposed to go. Oh, so it's exactly like that. Exactly, exactly like that. Damn. And then, yo, you just see the ruthless side of him just like, nah, bro, it doesn't matter. (laughs) Dead. Yeah, he's like a sociopath. Yeah. Like, he can literally go from being a loving guy to being a sociopath. And and, and that's like the the crazy part about it. You just kind of like, you kind of like get afraid, but it's like, yeah, but then you kind of like, yo. Is he doing the cold. right thing? Or? Yeah, like, yeah, like you kind of like think about that. Um, But so then the other dude, you know what I mean? Like we already know what happens to the other guy, like in the interrogation. He he still dies too. Yeah. Like they both die. Which is even more like, frustrating for the guy. I mean, yeah. Yep, like, I already got what he, I needed from him. Let's either go. way, <laughs> either way. And he's doing all of this because he's trying to protect Ellie. He's trying to get back to finding Ellie and that's his biggest thing and that's the energy that he, that he gets from from everything yeah well and, and time out the one thing I was going to say about the interrogation is that one guy's like <laughs> okay I'll tell you basically I'll tell you whatever you want to listen you know, whatever you want to want me to tell you and then the other after he kills him the other guy's like hey he already told you everything but he's like ah but I'm still going to kill you <laughs> that's it done Yo, <laughs> you're out and you're <laughs> like, just damn, like damn bro <laughs> <laughs> savage, straight savage. Bro. It's like savage. That's that's the word. I loved it. I personally, <laughs> yeah, like enjoyed it. So yeah, yeah, it was uh, great. Hey, it was great. Hey, it's nothing weird on my part, man. I just, hey, it's a show. It's a show. I just love Pedro, man. That's all. <laughs> it's okay. it's nah, it's fine. Crush. It's, it's fine. a man crush. A bromance. There we go. That's the that's the word. <laughs> you have his poster in your room. <laughs> I do. So uh <laughs> on the ceiling. <laughs> Look at him every night. <laughs> uh, so so we go ahead and go back to Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Bro, I just I just imagined Mandalorian with a little baby Yoda with your head on it. Oh, like yeah. badly photoshopped. And then looking looking at Mando. <laughs> yeah. I exactly. Love you, Daddy. <laughs> Their hands up like, hey. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <clears throat> Uh, but anyways, <laughs> oh, yo, we go back to the, uh, bro, you done? <laughs> Are you, you done? Go. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Back to serious. <laughs> yo, so we go back to Ellie, and it turns out Ellie uh is trying to escape. She's trying to get out of the jail cell, right? And then once she's doing yeah. all that, we have a scene where she's looking into something, and she's like. Freaked out, you know what I mean? Because she sees something, and then but well, we don't know what the fuck it is. Even you, yo, oh, why are you no. always jumping to the gun, bro? We gotta build the suspense, <laughs> man. I can't say I can't tell stories for shit because of this guy. <laughs> yes, it was an ear, it was a human ear. Quiet though. Because technically the jail cell was inside the kitchen of the, the town place. And then David walks in. And then and then he's like, oh, uh, yeah, about that. It turns out that they all turn into cannibalism. Turn 
turned to cannibalism. But only a few people knew. He did, a lot of everybody else in the village didn't know because apparently they were running short on food and they didn't have enough food to, um, and apparently they weren't smart enough to just go and hunt. I guess that will be my. <coughs> I honestly don't remember this part of the uh, in this part of the game. I don't remember if this is in the game, the the cannibalism part. Yeah, well, is, is that why they wanted to kill Joel? Because n- now, now it no, 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 make no, sense no. for it to be the guys so, at the university. Trying to kill Joel to take him, like literally to kill them. And- no, 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 no. The 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 guys at the university that has that's something else. That's like that has nothing to do with it. Okay. They, they have oh. nothing to do with them. Like for, gotcha. forget about them guys. They're just random so, goons. Correct. So the three people, mm-hmm. right? The three people that were missing. It turns out that it was actually them. It was actually David and his goons that killed them. That killed the three okay. people that were missing, yeah. and then they try to blame it on Joel and Ellie. Right. Okay. So that that's that's where that's coming from. That's where the three people came from. So uh which it was all bullshit because like he didn't kill them. Like you know what I mean? Obviously. Yeah. Um in the in this whole situation, David finds out that he's in, that uh Ellie's immune because of um he tries to get the goon to to grab Ellie. And they put her on a table, and then she, he's about to like chop a limb off of her. But then, earlier in the in the in the episode, he, he she bites him and breaks his finger, right? And then this is whenever you start seeing the ruthless side of Ellie. You know what I mean? How the ruthless aggression has been slowly uh, coming and out. Like ass too. Yeah, awesome. yeah, correct. Yeah, <laughs> and for a fifteen year old, you have that. They're gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, but they're gonna say, "Hey, you're gonna tell him that a teenager broke your finger or something, or that a girl yeah. that broke your finger." Yeah, to your guys, I was like, "Well played." And well then, played. Uh, and then while she's laying on the table, right, and then they're all like hesitating, like, "Oh my God, you might be infected. David might be infected." Blah blah blah. And it turns out that she's not. She, he finds out that she is immune to it. The cleaver that he was about to use on her, she grabs it and then just. Smacks the goon in the neck with it, and then you see blood yes. everywhere, just gushing. It was so gushing. satisfying. Yeah, it was satisfying. It was very satisfying because in, like, in a messed up way, it's like, damn man, I'm dark. Just hey man, but she's the good guy. It's the good guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's the baby face in the thing, so <laughs> at least I think so. But I don't know, whatever. That is true. But but yeah. uh, she runs yeah. away. She runs away. David goes after her. Um, mm-hmm. And then we cut back to Joel, and then Joel's kind of sneaking around and things like that. He finds some blood in the snow, and then it turns out he goes into this building, and it turns out the the blood it was coming from the horse that he fa- that that he had that they shot, right? Uh, but then he also finds the bodies, so like of the people that were supposedly killed by Joel, and there's limbs missing, like an arm and a couple, and and something else was missing. I can't remember. But yeah, and they're well, they're like in the garage hanging, basically. So. Yes, which is crazy. Which is yeah, crazy. it was hor- like that. That's one of the scenes that I was like, whoa, whoa what? I, like I had to look twice. I was like, what? What did they do? <laughs> like, are you serious, dude? <laughs> like, yo, is that a body? That was a uh, kind bodies? of intense. Kind of intense. Yeah, bro. That yeah, it's crazy. It's like no, it can't be. Can't be. Yeah, oh. that was insane. And then this next scene, whenever we go back to Ellie, right? This next scene is straight from the game. This is probably the hardest mission that you have to do because this is a fight that you have to do against David. The only problem is in the game, you also you have to stab him like five times just to kill this dude. But you have to sneak mm-hmm. around and then the dude has like, I swear to God, this man has like 15 out of 10 hearing. Because he can hear you from anywhere, coming from anywhere, and and in the in the game also the building is on fire, It's getting caught on fire. So you have the smoke, you have the fire elements, and things like that, and you have to sneak around just like Ellie was doing, um, in, in the episode. And whenever she finally attacks him, right? But she only stabbed him. I think it was in the stomach or whatever. So he was able to fight her off, right? And unfortunately, she he gets on top of her, 
and I start saying all this weird shit, and then he's trying to uh, to force himself on her, which is terrible. Like, like yeah, it was, but, it was like, it, like it, it got my blood boiling. Like I'm like yeah. I'm just pissed off. I'm just, I'm just ready to go to the TV and just. <laughs> and in the game, in the game, that wasn't happening. In the game, he was trying to choke her. Okay. Like choke her yeah. just to like kill her that way, um, yeah. which is nuts. You know what I mean? But then they mm-hmm. switched it a little bit just because of they wanted to add more, uh, to make him more, <coughs> more of like the main villain type thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Put more emotion into it. Yes. And this is whenever she she grabs the cleaver and then just smacks him with it. And then she gets on top and then, man, you see all the emotions that are coming out of her because she's just going to town on him with yeah. the cleaver. And obviously they don't show like everything that like. You didn't need to. Face. You didn't yeah, need you to. didn't need to because you just see the blood splatter. Yeah. And just it's well, more actually, about the emotions of her. Yeah. Well, my wife was like, she, my wife started crying. She's like, poor baby. Cause she's like, she knows this is, she needed to get that anger out, but she knows this is make hurting her even more to a certain extent. Like this is getting her mind really twisted. So she's like, oh my God. Like my wife was, a, was a wreck <laughs> after this episode. Yeah, bro. Like, she was like, like, what the hell? Cause realistically yeah, I mean, it's like, dude, like nobody will, you're cheering. nobody wants to go through that. Yeah, you know well, I mean? and you're cheering for Ellie, but you know that what she's doing is going to scar her forever. Yes. You know? that, yes. And it's one of those things where you're like, oh, it, it's almost, it, and, and yes, I do like using Star Wars references, but it almost feels like, you know, like, do it. You know, like, you're like, yeah, oh, late the, let the hate flow through you. And she's just, ram, ram. It's like, good God. Like, it was, it was, it was pretty nuts. It was pretty insane, um, and and the um, and the thing about it too. Uh, the one thing I was gonna say about the the cult leader was how he how he ended up using religion to manipulate people because he even tells Ellie that like he basically didn't believe any of it. He just used it to manipulate people. Yes, like that's what he was doing because they needed that. They needed a father, and then he's like, "Oh yeah, but you don't need a father, right?" Trying to say that she's this this leader or whatever it is, just trying to charm her. And it's like, come on, man. No te deja. No se dejo. She she did not she did not listen to him. She did not pay attention to him. She just wanted to murk this guy. <laughs> I would have done That's the same it. thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. In the game. Absolutely. Where's Jay Uso when you need him, damn it? Exactly. <laughs> so once they finally once she's like she's done, she's starting to leave and uh Can you take over? Yeah. Um, Sorry, bro. Yeah, I so have we'll, to cough. Like that's. What I'm trying to hold on. No, to it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So then, um, uh, so after that, she runs out. She's all full of blood, and the best thing, the best person that she could have ever found, Joel is there to basically embrace her, just hug her. Make he's and he's looking at her like making sure she's okay, but hugging her, not in a like, hey, he's hugging her like a dad. Like, hey, everything's gonna be all right. I'm here. I'm gonna take care of you. We're gonna be okay. And that's that's one of those that kind of made me uh, uh, made my uh, allergies pop up again. Like, it, it's I don't know how that happens, man. Sometimes when you have these emotional scenes, my allergies kick just in. Start kicking out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they did. They did. They one did. of the things that you yeah. missed from that whole scene was how she was fighting back because she thought it was somebody else. Yes. <laughs> Which I don't well, blame her either. I mean, poor yeah, yeah. Girl's she just went through, through PTSD. That was literally her PTSD, kicking in. And um, and one of the craziest, one of the one of the biggest things from that hug, from that uh, from her him embracing her, um, one, is literally showing the dad and daughter relationship mm-hmm. that they just developed, and then two that. <clears throat> This is the first time in 20 years that Joel says the words baby girl because of his daughter, because of his yes. daughter dying. So it yeah. was it was literally a beautiful scene to watch. Yeah. That got me in the face, too. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. 
It's that, that was that was that was intense uh, for for all the good reasons. Um, honestly, I, I I really like that, and it's it's gonna. Uh, I mean, the show, it, it, it's weird because it seems like it's not going to get any better, but all of a sudden it gets, keeps on getting better. Well, and guess what? A lot... Next hmm? week is the final episode. No! <laughs> Next week is the final episode. Yeah. Let's see what ends up happening, but uh, right. hopefully, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm just worried. It'll be okay. The game was great. I don't want to like know. If you haven't played a game, if anybody hasn't played a game and you watch these videos and you're watching the show, definitely spend the 20 bucks or $10, whatever, buy the game. Honestly, play play the first the first one. Um, It's great. <clears throat> the second one, it's different. And the first Let's talk one, about the second one. Yeah, the first one is it's worth it, definitely. Yeah. They're both great, but the first one is just different. Well, I hope they have it for. Uh, do they have it for a PC or will they have it or? They have it for, for PC in May. In May, it finally comes out for PC, but it's a PlayStation exclusive. Okay, <clears throat> dang! But it, how how old is that game? Like five years old? What? Hell no! Like fifteen, I believe. Wow! So <clears throat> damn. Hold on, let me let me find out. I think it's ten to fifteen years. That's crazy. I thought I thought it was like a late uh, PS4 title or something. It came out in twenty thirteen. Damn, 10 years ago. Literally. 10 years. My bad. Yeah, I was close. 10 years. Holy crap. So, yeah. Thanks. Oh, but a good story has no time limit. Has no uh, time limit, I guess. Nope. It doesn't matter. Yeah. No, that, that that's great. I mean, it's, it's one of the best shows I think I've ever seen. One of the one of the shows that I've been the most emotionally invested in. So, you know, just kudos to them. Whomever, I don't know who does the show or anything like that. Great. And then... um. Ellie and Joel, obviously they're amazing, and even the cult leader, fuck, him. was a great actor. Yeah, no, no, he was. Uh, he was he yeah, was, he no, was. I mean, because he literally gave you those vibes, and it was, and it just came so natural to him. He's one of those people you see on the street, and you're like, hey, yo, fuck I that guy. I was, I don't know. Hey, does anybody? Uh, I'll bring the crackers and cheese. You're like, no, you're not. <laughs> I don't want. Those you're not bringing the coconuts, right? Yeah, huh? I don't want that psychopath near me. Hey, hey, inviting everybody to a barbecue. Let's go. No, <laughs> In, invite all the neighbors, your friends, everybody. Yeah, and if somebody's not there, oh well. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, so uh, yeah, man. Uh, next week finale. Let's find out. Yes. What we have in store. Yeah, let's see what happens. Well, hey, we'll keep you guys posted. Definitely. All right, guys. So as always, just make sure to keep on watching us. Watch our shorts, too. Peace.